Color difference key is found under the keying category, and I want to start by saying that there are much newer tools for removing subjects from backgrounds shot on top of green or other colored screens. However, it is still worth knowing what all of the keying tools you have access to in After Effects do and how they work, so I'm going to show you how the After Effects user guide teaches you how to use this effect. I've never had to use it myself, and I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert at keying, but I will show you what I've learned through the After Effects user guide. So I'm going to drag color difference key out on top of this footage, and actually before I go any further, point out that this footage of Shia LaBeouf really wasn't shot all that well. There's a lot of green spill on his clothes, on his skin, he's not that brightly lit, this footage is only 1280 by 720 so there's already a lot going against me for getting a clean result. But what this color difference key is going to do is generate two different mats and combine them to create an alpha mat. And I can view all of these mats at once by going to my view controls and changing this to AB mat, corrected and final. What this is going to do is show me all four of those things at once. What this effect calls the partial A mat, the partial B mat, the final alpha mat, and then the final output of the effect. So this looks a little bit darker because it's already applying this blue key color, but I want to change that to the green color. Now I don't want to use that eyedropper down here since this is being affected. Instead, I'm going to use my preview thumbnail of my unaffected footage. So I could either use this eyedropper right here or this one here, it doesn't matter, but I'll just click this one and then click on the green color. Now something the After Effects user guide says is that if you're using a primary color screen for keying, which would be red, blue, or yellow, then you can leave color matching accuracy to faster. I'm using a green screen, so I'm gonna change this to more accurate and it's gonna produce better results. Now what actually is happening in this effect? Well, it's generating these two mats. The partial B mat is based on that key color that I chose. It's creating a mat that would shape the transparency of the layer based on the color that I selected. The partial A mat is basing its transparency on parts of the image that don't contain a second different color. I'm reading that directly from the After Effects user guide and to be honest, I don't quite understand it and I haven't found a great explanation online on what that exactly means. If you understand it and you can point me to a resource or explain it to me, please leave a comment and I will definitely pin your comment. What I do know is that this effect is going to combine both of these mats using the difference operation to generate a cleaner alpha mat to then key from. And supposedly this is great for footage that contains semi-transparent areas like smoke, shadows, or glass. Obviously my footage doesn't have any of those, but I can still use it to key out the green screen. So the technique here is to choose one of these mats and then refine it a little bit to isolate my subject from the background. So I'm going to start with the alpha mat and I'll zoom in here, make sure that I'm using this alpha mat preview. So that's what's up here. And this is going to allow me to use these eyedroppers to select colors within my comp instead of having to drag these sliders myself. So it's a good starting point. What I need to do is grab this black ink eyedropper and then choose a portion of the green screen that's showing up as the lightest. It looks pretty uniform, but I think there's some lighter areas right in here on that back green screen. So I'm gonna click right here and it's going to make those areas much more black. Now I can still see a little bit of lighter areas up in here. So I'll zoom in and again, grab that black eyedropper, choose the lightest pixels and that's going to make those black. Everything that is that light or darker is now black. Then I'm going to grab the white eyedropper and choose something that I want to be white. So this area of his skin that's definitely getting keyed out because of that green spill, I want that to be white. So I'm going to click on his forehead and that fills in a lot of that mat for me. Now I want to try and get that even more filled in. So I'll select his cheek there and now I have a really hard mat, but it's at least isolating Shia pretty well. From here, I'm gonna pan over and up to my partial B mat and do the same process. I'm gonna find a light area of the green screen. Looks like right here is pretty light. Make sure I'm on the B mat preview. Choose that black eyedropper and click on that light area. The background goes black again. I'll select the white eyedropper, click right on his forehead to fill in that mat. Then I could always come in and modify the partial B controls which these are just like levels controls. We have in black, in white, gamma, out black, and out white. So I could modify this freely just by clicking and dragging on these sliders to fill in any holes that I'm seeing. We'll call that good for now. And then I'll pan over to the first mat, which is the partial A mat. 
make sure I'm on that one. Then do the same process again. Grab my black eyedropper, choose the lightest portion I see of that green screen, which basically makes that whole mat go black. But if I undo and redo while looking at this final view, it does make a slight difference. Now, once again, this footage is not an ideal candidate for this technique because I've pretty much just crushed out the entire first mat. So there basically is no difference in those mats and we're throwing away a lot of what this effect is supposed to be doing. But that's just because of the way that this footage was shot and what I have to deal with. So I'm just gonna dial this in. I'm watching both up here and down here at the same time to kind of see what an effect this is having. But I'm kind of just trying to isolate that background a little bit more without bringing in any of that green screen in that final image. Now that I have something that works fairly well, I'm gonna switch this to my final output and see that we have a pretty standard color key. It's not that soft. We do have some issues here that I can modify these sliders to try and correct, but ultimately we still have this green outline around Shia. So what I could do from here is add maybe a simple choker, which is just under the matte category, and increase it ever so slightly, as well as add a advanced spill suppressor with its default values, which will remove a lot of that green spill. This is definitely not my preferred method of keying out green screen footage, especially lower quality footage that has a lot of issues that you have to work around, but it is an advanced color keying tool that has some options other tools do not, so it's definitely worth knowing about. But that's everything you need to know about color difference key. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.